So for the first method, you just want to go into After Effects and click P on your keyboard. Once you've done this, you just want to alt click the stopwatch icon here. So now all you have to do is type in wiggle brackets and then type in 2 comma 10 and then close the brackets. So as you can see this is really subtle camera movement and I want it to be a bit stronger. This 2 here decides how fast the camera moves and this 10 right here it decides how far the camera moves. So I'm going to try 4 and then see how that goes. Might change this to 15. Yeah, and that's probably okay for what I'm doing here. So now what you want to do is you want to click R on your keyboard and then alt click the stopwatch and that will bring up rotation. So now you just want to alt click the stopwatch like we did before. And then again type in wiggle brackets and I'm going to do 1.5 and 4 and I'll see how that goes. Yeah, that's a bit too much. Change that to maybe two and a half. Okay, so now we have some pretty good camera shake, but the only problem is you can see these black bits here. So all I'm gonna do is just go into effect controls and just scale it up a bit so you can't see those black lines. And now we've got some pretty good camera shake. Okay, so now on to the second method. Okay, so the second method involves getting a piece of paper, sticking it to the wall, and then drawing some crosses over it like this. So next, film the piece of paper, handheld, moving the camera around as much as you would like the camera shake to be. Create an After Effects composition with the piece of paper that you just filmed, and the footage that you want to add camera shake to. Now you want to go to Layer, New, and then Null Object. We're going to call this Null Object Tracking Data. Okay, so now you want to click on the Crosses layer and click Track Motion, making sure all of these boxes are ticked. Then you should see two boxes appear. You want to put these boxes on a suitable tracking point, so it would be easier for After Effects to track it. Now we're going to go over to Analyze and then click Analyze Forward. Okay, so once it's finished analyzing, it should look a bit like this. Now you want to go over to Edit Target and make sure this is set on tracking data. Now just click apply. Okay, so now we can delete the crosses layer and parent the car layer to tracking data. And now we have some pretty convincing camel shake. So thanks for watching guys, don't forget to tell me in the comments section which method you prefer best. For me it just depends on what I'm doing. I think the second method looks a lot more realistic in my opinion. But if I'm doing kind of more animation things, like I'm doing on my new MLG video that I'm working on, then I'd probably prefer the first method. Just because it's faster, just because it's easier, and it kind of gives more smooth, kind of just consistent camera movement. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.